Good morning. It's great to have you with us here at Unity of Walnut Creek. Today, as we're still beginning our new year, we're touching on those powerful spiritual experiences that invite an expanding, empowering abundance into our lives. We have wonderful music, and we appreciate your joining your hearts with ours to create together. Thank you for being a part of this. My soul is welcome here. I'm in the right place at the right time. I am just where I'm supposed to be. I'm in the right place at the right time. I am just where I'm supposed to be. I'm in the right place. At the right time, I am just where I'm supposed to be. I'm in the right place at the right time. I am just where I'm supposed to be. Oh, my soul is welcome here. Oh, my soul is welcome here. I am getting the message loud and clear. My soul welcome here I'm in the right place at the right time I am just where I'm supposed to be I am the right place at the right time I am just where I'm supposed to be oh my soul is welcome here Oh, my soul is welcome here. I am getting the message loud and clear. My soul is welcome here. I am getting the message loud and clear. My soul is welcome here. Thank you. I will introduce to you your other song leader, Dorothy Williams. I'm sorry. Also known as Dot. And I'm Sheila Gautreaux. Your special guest artist today is our friend Carol Manson. And she is 
quite capably backed up by our band, Fusion. Please join me in welcoming our friends online. If you will turn toward the camera and give them a shout out. Hey! Oh, we're so happy to see you. Thanks for joining us today. It is always so delightful. Your presence is truly felt and we appreciate you. My name is Sheila Gautreau, as I said, and I'm also one of your ministers here at Unity of Walnut Creek. If this, if you are new to Unity, we'd like to give you a little bit of information about us. We're a pretty phenomenal movement, because that's what we are. And, <laughs> and we provide a practical approach to spiritual living. And what do we mean by that? What we mean is that we provide you with simple tools that can be used day to day for having your life show up more abundantly, more peacefully, more joyfully, and filled with more love than you have ever known before. We also accept everyone and every theology as meaningful, and we are accepting and loving of every approach to God. We know that there are many paths to that one God. And our movement is founded on the positive, affirmative process of prayer that relates to the presence of that one God within us and within all people and the universe. Our affirmative prayer is exemplified in this opening statement by which we bring our service into that sacred place. And so I invite you to join me in our opening statement. Together, there is only one presence and one power in the universe and in my life, the all-loving goodness of God. Let us take that in, breathe it in through the heart, letting it fill our entire being with the realization of that truth. And again, there is only one presence and one power in the universe and in my life, the all-loving goodness of God. And let's take it in even deeper. And once more, there is only one presence and one power in the universe and in my life, the all-loving goodness of God. And reflect on that for a moment. And allow ourselves to know that this truth is self-evident the spiritual movement of our lives. And for this, we are truly grateful. And so it is. Amen. Please join Dot and me as we move more into our time of sacred prayer in singing together our Lord's Prayer. Hallowed be 
into that experience of prayer. <sighs> this beautiful way in which we consciously connect with that divine presence. In which we let it expand its awareness within us. So as you find that which is your way of gently turning within, of opening your heart, On this inner journey, just as this beautiful music of the Lord's Prayer is part of that experience of attunement, so also from other places and traditions is the beauty of the Om. So as it's comfortable for you, please join us. So this sound which some call the very name and sound of God itself. Is part of that intention within our hearts. To touch this divine presence. To awaken from that place where you, dear God, are separate to where we know our oneness. And so, Mother, Father, God, now awaken us. And how grateful we are that you are this presence of divine love that we experience in the feelings of love within us. So to touch this presence, we simply begin by letting ourselves feel the love that we have. There are people in each of our lives who are at a point of struggle. And how our love as that compassion flows out to them to unfold and bless. And as we feel that love for those, whether in our immediate families or simply as a part of our human family, 
in that compassion, we feel this very presence of divine love flowing through our hearts. So grateful we are for this understanding that as much as we feel love, as much as we love another, that infinite love of God for us is so many, many times more than we can even imagine. Beloved Presence, open us now to feel your love for us. Thank you for filling our hearts. Thank you for helping us open to accept the ever-present beauty, the power of your love. I am loved with an infinite love with no limits and no conditions. That is the truth. And so from this place of having opened our hearts to feel your divine love. Beloved Presence, guide us into the experience of sacred stillness. This place where we simply rest at one with you. We're in that openness with the mind quiet and the feeling serene. Your love flows through us to fill us. We remember that direction of the master that helps to journey into the stillness. His words were, peace, be still. Peace, be still. Peace, be
Mother God. We are so grateful to be aware that you are this power that flows through our hearts, through our bodies, through our awareness, and that we can experience and be at one with you in this beautiful feeling of love, knowing that you are this power that we experience as love. We choose to send your healing, transforming presence forth. And so, from this place within our hearts, we choose to radiate your love. And we begin by sending it forth into a, our own bodies to touch every cell and system, to call us into radiant wholeness and vitality. We send this to mind and heart to heal and bring forth the very highest in wisdom and understanding within us. And now we send this beautiful love beyond ourselves and we embrace each person who is dear to us. We enfold them in this love. We hold for each one that awareness that in this love they are healed, lifted, guided, <coughs> prospered, and guided to this beautiful peace that you are within their hearts. And this love flows through our hearts. We send it across the spiritual community, becoming a part of that blessing that flows through each one into everyone in their world. We radiate our love. We send it to every prayer request brought here. We enfold each person knowing with each one. You are enfolded in divine love and lifted to that which is the highest. And this love flows out from our hearts across the communities in which we live out across our nation and on to touch the peoples of the world. As this love flows and touches all, it brings forth wisdom and peace. And this love flows through our hearts. We send it to join with all who join us in prayer, whether in mosque or synagogue, temple or church, whether gathered at home or on the hillsides. For in seeking to know you, we are all one. And we send this divine love through our hearts. We send it to our beautiful earth to bless and bring harmony to all her systems, to bless her creatures. And we send it about the earth that it might touch the heart of every single person in the earth. For you are this love in every heart. And in this love, we are one. Divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. Please join me. Divine love flows through my heart enfolding and blessing the world. And again, divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. Feeling that beautiful love move through you. Once again, divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. And it is so. 
in that pure, radiant love that is the Christ presence in each. Amen. In the silence there is peace In the silence there is unspoken joy In the silence there's release in a world full of chaos and noise. So I would. For these precious moments When I hear all that Can never be said And right here In this holy silence I find God I find myself In the silence there is peace In the silence there is unspoken joy In the silence there is release In a world full of chaos and noise so I wait for these precious moments when I hear all that can never be said. And right here in this holy silence, I find God. I find God, I find my self. song. <laughs> wow. My name is CL and it is my pleasure and honor to provide you with some of our upcoming events. Next Sunday our guest speaker will be Reverend James Trapp in honor of Martin Luther King's birthday. He will be speaking on the significance of Dr. King's message today. today how it is today in light of our current racial tension. This is the year of forgiveness. We are launching this powerful focus with a special Sunday program on January 25th. We have the founder of the Worldwide Forgiveness Alliance joining us. And inspiring stories of forgiveness, that afternoon there will be a panel of people sharing different understandings of their forgiveness experience. <coughs> it is almost crab feed time again. <laughs> Woo! Save the date. It's February 28th, the last Saturday of February, 
And this great event and our Unity family always has a blast, so make sure you save that date. Tickets will be going on sale in a couple of weeks. Now, I invite Reverend David to the lectern, or microphone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got classes beginning, but it reminded me about James Trapps being here next weekend. This, this amazing man uh, has led his churches have regularly been more than a thousand because of the power and the inspiration and the tremendous beauty and centeredness. So I'm so thrilled that that he's here. And I he was the president and CEO of Unity for uh, some seven years, and I had the honor of working with him throughout that time. And I just have the the greatest love and appreciation for this man. And I'm so glad I get to share him with you. It feels feels like a real gift. And this next week. We start our classes, and I've, I wanted to share. We, we try to get this, this amazing mix of spiritual learning. On Mondays, uh, Will Scott, and Will is, is one of our teachers, is, just always brings depth and uh, real, real growth in what he does. And he's looking at the experience, he calls it heaven on earth intuition, that powerful connection and awareness. Uh, great opportunity. And also, also on Mondays, now, if you've got a time turner, you can do this, okay, is uh, Sheila's class on the creative process. In these couple weeks, in the beginning of the year, we've been really focusing on this spiritual capacity of creation that we have, and a tremendous opportunity to touch that capacity within us at depth and really, really explore the understanding of that from the spiritual understanding. And then I got talked into doing the fairy tales. Okay, through the years we have shared so many. They are symbolic pictures of the unfolding of the soul. So we're going to take and just jump into them and explore them and use that as the catalyst for uh, those next stages in our own spiritual growth. And then uh, on um, Thursdays, a uh, class that I've, I've, I really asked Holly to come and teach us. Uh, many of you are, are aware that Holly Reese uh, has, a, has a book. She's a part of our community. She has a book that talks about her experience from the depth of extreme critical illness back into a state of health and her understanding of all the different levels bringing together to create a true health within the body, but also a true health within the life. So wonderful opportunities, and with a little magic, you can do them all. <laughs> now, until you hear the gong, please take a short moment to say hello to those around you. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> what fun. Okay, stay standing. Don't don't sit down. We're gonna have a little fun. This is time to clap and dance. So Dot and I are gonna lead you in God in everything. Breathe. 
everything. I feel joy. I feel peace. I feel the goodness surrounding me. I feel love in every breath I breathe. I feel God in everything. I feel happiness. I feel freedom. I feel the beauty that lives in me. I feel perfection in what life brings. I feel God in everything. I choose joy i choose peace i choose goodness surrounding me i choose love in every breath i breathe i choose god in everything i choose happiness in everything i choose god of the rainbow so pretty in the sky are also on the faces of people passing by I see friends shaking hands saying how do you do they're really saying I love you, I, I hear babies crying, I'll watch them grow, they'll learn much more than I'll ever know, and I, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Here goes vision now. Colors of the rainbow, oh, oh. so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of people passing by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, "How do you do?" 
they're really saying I love you I hear babies crying I'll watch them grow they'll learn much more than I'll ever know and I, I think to myself what a wonderful world and I think to myself Right, it is. <laughs> One of the things that, that happens at this uh, experience of the new year is both that time of reflection and looking back, but then also choosing what we're going to create in that world. Uh, what, what is on our hearts to make that world uh, like? Because one of the things we begin to understand as spiritual beings is we are co-creators. This divine power flows through us and it is our consciousness that creates our experience. Then, so we've, we've looked at that in a couple different ways. We touched on some different ones last Sunday. But there's, there's a particular thing that I notice shows up in most people's desire for their new year. And that's that it be prosperous. Is that okay with everybody? Okay, willing to do, to have a prosperous year? Have everything you need more than enough? Now, in the middle of the Great Depression, the man who's the co-founder of Unity, Charles Fillmore, looked at what was taking place in this huge experience of lack that people were having. And he realized one of the difficulties was that People were not being taught how, as a spiritual being, we open to and create within our lives the experience of abundance. That as a, as a child of God, all that we need is provided. And it becomes our work in growing to open to and receive that. And so he, he wrote this beautiful work on, a, on prosperity. And one of the things that happens when we, when we look at how do we do that? Okay, if we're going to have an abundant year, how is that created? And Charles Fillmore, as well as so many that have looked at this question, go back to this, the symbols within Jesus' demonstrations of abundance. Because I believe they're really captured there as a picture of this process. As we begin to grow spiritually, we look and see, here is one who was mastering this experience and demonstrating it for us. So I wanted to go to the feeding of the 5,000, one of the most powerful of those. And one of the gifts in that experience is the, the Gospels give the steps that he went through. And so as we look at that, we begin to realize as a spiritual being, when I choose to understand those spiritually, I can do that that that's part of who we are. We have that capacity to create uh, abundance within our experience. So I'd like to read that experience for you. And just so, you know, in the next uh, 
uh, 20 minutes, we're going to really focus on how to do this, bring in abundance in. So I just wanted to tell you, so everybody that already has so much they really don't care and have no other needs or places they go or pl places they want to give it, they're free to go ahead and take a break and uh, then uh, we'll, we'll have some music after so they can come back if they want. As evening approached, the disciples came to him and said, this is a remote place and it's already getting light. Send the crowds away so that we can go to the villages and buy them uh, and buy some food. Jesus replied, they do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. We have only five loaves of bread and two fish, they answered. Bring them here to me, he said. And he directed the people to sit down on the ground, on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to the disciples and the disciples gave them to the people. They all ate and were satisfied. And the disciples picked up 12 basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. The number of those who ate was 5,000 men plus women and children. Fascinating uh, experience. So what happens when I look at that and I go, okay, what were the steps that were taken there? I end up with about eight steps. Now, I have a hard time keeping track of three steps, okay? So I, I thought that's, that's a lot to get into, but then I realized some of these are things that we already do as a part of, of spiritual discipline and practice. So there's some very core ones in there that make a difference. So let me run through the whole thing, and I'll go ahead and, and we'll put it up as a, as a PowerPoint so that it's a little easier to keep, uh, keep kind of track of what we're talking about. He, he enters that place where his interaction with it is bring them here to me. What we're talking about in terms of our process is the experience of awareness. What is it that I'm provided with? Okay, if, if we are going to create, being conscious of what is already created becomes important. And then he directs the people to sit down on the grass. Now, in the spiritual process, that's the process of entering into uh, serenity. And then he takes the loaves and the fish, and he goes through looking up to heaven. It's a symbol of the raising of consciousness out of this realm that we normally perceive life into a higher awareness. That is done through the feeling of love. And then he gave thanks. So we then enter into the deep and powerful feeling of gratitude. And he broke the loads. This is the point where we begin to release the limits. This divine love flows in and through us, releasing the limits that we have held in the prior creation we've been experiencing. He gave them to the disciples. So at this point, we're now bringing this energy into the third dimensional world and expressing it by active giving in our lives. And then the disciples give them to the people. So that's, that, uh, let's, let's take a look at uh, these one at a time. Next slide. So the first one, bring them here to me. This, this awareness of what we have. Now, there's two ways to look at that. Often our awareness is on what we do not have. It's very different. I am already provided for. I have this. Now, any times we're at a point where there is an appearance of lack, my understanding of what has happened is as a spiritual being, we have been able to bring in a part of the manifestation that's provided for us. The other part of it is essentially in a spiritual form, in a spiritual realm. It's already given to us so that our process then begins to complete that creation by bringing that already given down into manifest form. 
So that beginning at that awareness, and then if we're going to change our consciousness, we need to take control of it. Making the people sit down on the grass. Now, this is stopping the worrying, the running around, the chaos within our minds. Okay? Some of us have 10 or 15 people. Some of us have 5,000 running around. Okay? You know, when, when you're in that place, and it's going all over the place. Okay. The, and the, the key here, now we can try to do it mentally, but the truth is by using the power of the heart, we gain much more power over it. And the f- heart feeling of sincerity, of serenity, really going in and touching the feeling of serenity gives this power over the mind so that it stops the worry. So we are then collected and ready. And then the acceptance, taking the five loaves and the two fish. Acceptance. Now there's one of the ways to check and see if I'm in acceptance. The alternative to acceptance is called complaint. Am I still figuring out and what's wrong, what didn't do it right, what, you know, and all that stuff. If my head's complaining, I'm not in acceptance. I'm in resistance. Acceptance. But once we've talked to the serenity, then accepting this is, because in fact we are in a beautiful spiritual creation taking place. Next slide. Now here's where the power is. Here's the change in consciousness. So at this point, he goes to a different level of consciousness. It says he looks up to heaven. That's a symbol of the shift of perception where we become aware of the divine presence. And that divine presence within us, we experience as love. So, entering into the feeling of love is the way of bringing about that shift. I have had so many beautiful experiences of this amazing transformative power simply from this step. Feeling the love. Letting it so fill us there is nothing else. And then what happens is we are aware that we, through that love, we are so provided for. And those feelings expand into the gratitude and that relationship between us and the Creator unfolds within us beautifully. And then, breaking the loaves. Now here's, here's a particular part of the work that is so very powerful. This, this year, at Unity of Walnut Creek, we're calling this our year of forgiveness. And there's, there's a very important reason for that. As spiritual beings on this path, We all have the right to be completely free to be who we are. The thing that keeps us from that freedom is the hurts, the pain, the resentment that we carry. Okay, those are our limits. And it is this, these three, the love, the gratitude, flowing into ourselves that frees us, that heals that pain. And we are going to, through this year, touch many different ways and look at it again. Because, you know, I wish I could say, well, you, you do this. You, you take this little spiritual pill and it's all over. But the truth is, it is work over time, conscious, intentional work over time that lets us both heal and receive that into our being and then integrate it into our consciousness of wholeness. Breaking the loaves. Releasing the limit. Next slide. And then, as it completes, 
He gives them to the disciples. Now, the disciples are the different capacities, the spiritual faculties within us. And how do we go from this Jesus, which is that Christ self, the highest spiritual capacity within us, down into, so it affects our faith, it affects our strength, it affects these qualities of our being. One of the ways that happens is by active giving. Okay, if, if, as you work in spiritual things, you begin to recognize that the spiritual creation is very often the inverse of the physical creation. Okay, if you want more, when we are at spiritual consciousness, you go take. If you want more, as we awaken in spiritual consciousness, you give. Because as spiritual beings, we create a flow of good. We are instruments of this divine. So that taking this love, this freedom, and expressing it clear down into the, the physical dimension by giving is part of that transformation. And then the disciples gave them to the people. That part of us, that kind of ego self that sometimes called, just the people of me. Okay, this one that wants to argue with it, have faith and doubt and not sure and that's kind of crazy and oh, but I really hope and all that stuff. What happens is in the receiving of that, there is an opening that happens within us. And that quiets, and we experience an open to that divine providing for us. And it has gone all the way through our consciousness. And that beautiful flow takes place. Next slide. So I want to I take a moment. It's these steps, the love, the gratitude, and the release, that are the power within this. Now, if you've worked with prosperity before, one of the things you'll recognize is people are often guided through these steps, through ideas. Well, you kind of think this way or you do this way. And what we're looking at here is something a little different than that. We're looking at going through that change through the feeling world because that is the heart connection as our spiritual energy flows through us, spirit itself is making that change within our consciousness. So that looking up to heaven, the experience of really opening to that love. So join me in it. If, if you would just close your eyes, go within, feel. You have felt that love before. There have been times when it's been huge. Times when it's been focused on someone or something. And times when you can almost not remember it because we really didn't know what to do with it. But we felt it. Feel it. That amazing love for you. You are so loved. No condition. Doesn't matter what you've ever done, said, thought. You are loved. You are the child of the Most High. You are a spiritual being on an infinite journey. And love is what carries you every moment. Feeling that love and then as we feel it, the gratitude. Thank you, God. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. All that love is caring for you, will always care for you. I am so grateful. Join me. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. And then let that love just simply move through your being. And as it does so, we know that it touches every place where pain is carried. Every place where fear dwells. And it heals. And heals and heals, and we are whole.
And as you bring your attention back and just I invite you to make that commitment to work with that and let's just touch for a moment that last slide because it reminds us what this is about. Twelve basketfuls left over. More than enough. Twelve is the number of fulfillment. That's what, is, that's what it's all about. is the fulfillment of your being, the fulfillment of your heart, the fulfillment of the beautiful purpose for which you came into the earth, that which is meaningful to you. That divine love provides all for that. And what I, what I find helps me remember to do this is in everything that comes up to remember, God is my instant, constant, abundant supply. That's the truth. That's what I'm discovering in these steps. God is my instant, constant, abundant supply. Join me. God is my instant, constant, Abundant supply. You feel that love and care for you that's about. Again, God is my instant, constant, abundant supply. Feels so good. Once again, God is my instant, constant, abundant supply. As a friend of mine once put it, live long and prosper. <laughs> ministers are available after the service to offer you prayer support for your challenges or for your celebrations. You may see them around the sanctuary or on the grounds praying with others. The heart ministers are those wearing the lavender stoles. Your prayer requests can also be sent anytime from our website. Now, if you would please take the connection cards from the seat pocket in front of you. We invite each of you to take a moment to fill out this card. If you have a prayer request, a question, or a comment. And if you are new to Unity, we invite you to fill out the card and to stop by our welcome table out on the patio. And we look forward to meeting you. Thank you for checking the box if you are joining us in our weekly spiritual focus. And as a reminder, that is, God is my instant, content, constant, abundant supply. And the ushers will receive those cards when they accept the offering. And it is time for our prosperity celebration. So if you will take your tithe or offering and if you have a credit card donation, there are envelopes provided for you. Take that tithe or offering in your hand and be aware that God is the source of all your good. And let's repeat our affirmation with me together. Divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. You might want need a microphone. Morning. <laughs> On a clear day, rise and look around you, and you'll see who you 
are On a clear day How it will astound you That the glow of your being Outshines every star You'll feel part of Every mountain, sea, and shore You can hear both far and near A world you never ever hear before On a clear day On that clear, clear day You can see forever and ever All right, let's unfold these beautiful beings with our hearts and share a blessing together. Children, you are loved, special, and important. The light of God shines through you. And let's take hands and share together our prayer of protection. Together, the light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us and the presence of God who watches over us. Wherever we are, God is, and all is well. And our peace song.
you are the love and the light and the peace in the earth right now. So let it shine and have fun. Thank you.